let's say for a moment that everybody who needed a house in the audience automatically got one, because everyone else here helped them build one. And then every person here who needed food automatically got food, because everyone else in the room automatically helped them get food. And everyone here who needed any clothes automatically got the clothes they needed, because everyone else here helped them get the clothes they needed. In other words, we're constantly looking after each other. What else do you need? Well, yeah, but now we're starting to talk about emotional needs, aren't we? Like, the real physical things that you feel you're working for, can you see that they wouldn't even matter anymore? If you were assured of getting them, why would you strive for them? You wouldn't anymore, would you? Can you see how the fear that, oh, if I don't earn this money, if I don't do this, this fear is all being created by the world money system, by the way, in an effort to control you, to make you so embroiled in a life that's about caring for your basic necessities, that you no longer care for your real necessities, which are all spiritual and emotional in nature. The truth is that if we had a house to live in and we had a little plot of land ourselves, you know, two hours a day of work and you'd be able to be completely self-sufficient. Two hours a day. Well, you look like, you don't have to sit and watch and let us grow, do you? <laughs> all you've got to do is plant it and water it occasionally, isn't it? You don't have to sit and watch a fruit tree grow, do you? All you do is plant it, water it, and care for it, and it grows automatically, doesn't it? It's like, and then it produces what? One fruit tree. I heard someone recently say they counted like nearly a thousand. I forget what it was. I don't remember what it was? So they said a thousand. They had a thousand eight hundred and ninety or something pieces of fruit. Oh, it was you, Brian. What were they? Bananas on one bunch. That's it. One bunch of bananas. Was it eight hundred and ninety? 900 bananas on one lunch right, that he grew in his backyard. Like, and you had to watch every one of them grow, didn't you? Like, you just sat there and you just <clears throat> tried so hard and did all this work to make them grow, didn't you? No. In the highest spheres of the spirit world, what actually happens is your soul condition automatically looks after everything around you that you want. Right, so, so, and you'll see this happening on Earth soon when your soul, with your own soul condition. It's a bit like this. Imagine yourself going on a long journey. It's like you went, you were going overseas for six months, and imagine when you came home that your property was even better looking than when you left to go overseas, and nobody was there, because that's what your soul is capable of doing, of maintaining everything, watering it all, everything. It's capable of doing everything. And in the spirit world, in the higher celestial spheres, that's what happens. There's whole like, planets, you could picture them as here, that are just the reflection of your own soul condition. And everything that happens on there is total reflection of your, of your own desires. And you can have a desire and not even be there, and it will grow. On the upper, opposite side, like, it's like you being on the opposite side of the world saying, oh, well, I just saw a banana tree. Bananas will be great in the backyard, and all of a sudden when you get home, bananas are in the backyard. Mm. Sorry? We well, don't need to eat. But it's fun eating sometimes, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. So, so, the truth is that we are powerful creators, but we don't create powerfully because we are yet to activate our free will in harmony with love. That's why we're not creating powerfully. And so, anger is the key to, to creation because, in a way, like when we do these anger lists, this anger list thing, what we'll start doing is identifying all the areas in our life where we actually are feeling powerless. Right? And where we're not act, acting in harmony with our free will, in harmony with love. That we're using our free will to deny love, in fact. This is what anger is all about. So let yourself start working your way through the emotion of anger and digging deeper into it, because it's such a powerful change in you.